Okay. I don't know about you, but when I was growing up in the early 80s and the 90s, I spent hours upon hours listening to the radio, trying to capture the greatest hits in order to make the most epic mixtape ever. Sure, fast forward to today, 2019, and the technology has definitely changed. I mean, we're no longer recording on cassette tapes, but we're still trying to capture the greatest songs, maybe old school songs or today's greatest hits in playlists on our music apps, such as iTunes or Google Play Music. Well, Flipgrid has taken this concept of making these epic playlists and they are kicking it old school by calling them mixtapes. As an educator, you can create a mixtape within Flipgrid by gathering responses from any of your topics in any of your grids. You can then arrange those responses in the order that you would like them to play in order to create the most epic playlist or Flipgrid mixtape ever. All right, let's take a closer look at how you can create an epic mixtape in Flipgrid. So I've gone ahead and logged into my Flipgrid account as an educator, and here I am in my educator dashboard. I happen to be in my grids, but I'm going to click mixtapes up here in the top menu bar. All right, I can see under my mixtapes that I currently have one mixtape. To create a brand new mixtape, we're simply gonna click the blue button, new mixtape. Now remember, the idea behind creating a mixtape is that you are showcasing students' best responses. So you can create a mixtape in order to highlight everything from a portfolio showcasing individual student growth, important class or whole school events, student performances, and even student or teacher created tutorials. I'm going to go ahead and create a mixtape about the best tech tips or hacks that I have received in various topics uh, across my different grids. So the first thing I'm going to do is give my mixtape a specific name. Now notice here where it says flip code, it gives me a generated flip code, but I can change the flip code. Remember that this flip code is what you will share for others to be able to access the mixtape itself. Now I can give a description of this mixtape, uh, in order to provide a little bit of background about what this mixtape is showcasing, but the description is optional. And notice that you can also password protect your mixtape. I highly recommend this as it just adds that extra layer of security uh, for your student response videos. So once you toggle that switch on, go ahead and enter a password. And finally, we will click Create. And just like that, our mixtape is ready for us to start adding videos in order to create our epic playlist. In order to add videos, we have to go back to our different grid topics in order to select the videos we wish to add. Let me show you how. So I'm going to click back on My Grids in the top menu bar. And let's start in the Microsoft Innovator Grid. So I'll just click on the name of that grid and I'm going to go ahead and click on a topic. Let's say sharing is caring. I'm going to pull up a video that was shared by one of my Microsoft innovators. Let's just stop that from playing. I want you to notice here in the middle, I can see a star to feature the response, a little flame to spark the response, or I can see a little cassette tape icon. This cassette tape icon is how we're going to add this particular video to our mixtape. I'm simply going to click the cassette tape icon and I'm immediately asked which mixtape I wish to add this video to. Let's go ahead and add it to the greatest tech tips mixtape, the mixtape I just created. 
So I'll select that mixtape and click add. Okay, got it. Let's close this video. Now, I can leave this particular topic and go to another topic. And I can select another video from a different topic and click on that cassette tape to add the response to my mixtape. Notice, as I mentioned earlier, I can even leave this grid altogether and check out a different grid. And just by clicking that cassette tape next to the video, I can again add that video to my mixtape. So keep in mind that you can add videos from a variety of topics from a variety of grids. All right, let's go back to our mixtape. So here along the top menu, I'm going to click mixtapes and I'm going to select the most recent mixtape, Greatest Tech Tips. And notice just by clicking and dragging, I can move these videos around into the order that I'd like them to play. Once I've added and arranged all of my videos, I can then come up here to the blue share button and I can share this mixtape link or even generate the QR code for this mixtape and share that with the individuals that I choose to share this particular mixtape with. Notice that I can even share my mixtape with my learning community. So I can share the mixtape to Google Classroom. And if I click on that Google Classroom icon, I can then go ahead and as long as I'm signed into Google, I can choose the class that I want to share this particular mixtape to. I can also copy the embed code to the mixtape and then share that on say a Google site or my classroom website. It's as simple as that to create and share an epic mixtape filled with meaningful, rich responses from your students or learning community.